The Hell in a Cell doesn't matter what your experience is. Each superstar has an unknown level of fear inside them. Yeah, you may be familiar with Hell in a Cell, but I don't think that means you're comfortable. I don't think anyone walking the face of the Earth could ever be comfortable inside Hell in a Cell. Any predicament, there's two! And he forces a shoulder up after two. A two count this early has to raise his confidence. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Re-entering the ring now. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Reigns had that scouted. Bang it back with their own counter. Connecting on the DDT. What makes a Hell in a Cell such an intimidating structure? It's not so much the structure itself as what it allows you to do. There are no limits here. And the superstar who pushes themselves the farthest usually wins. Enough already. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, the power, face first into the chair. He turns it around on Tucker. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex, ouch. He's getting a little batter now. He'll be lucky if this is the worst he suffers in the cell. He gets back into the ring. Just one step ahead. Oh, man. He had it scouted. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, high risk. Split leg. Just ruthless. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, that just gets clothesline. Took their head off. Makes the cover. Oh, it dropped. And he kicks out at two. He thought he had it. Kick to the gun. Ooh, brutal forearm. <laughs> oh, what a punch. Ooh, merciless looking blow. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. Ooh, ruthless striking. Oh, no, no, no. Taking flight. Diving foot stomp. Brutal. He's absorbed some damage already. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Uh, setting him up in position here. On the second row. Tornado oh. DDT. Viking DDT. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Pick your job off the floor. Beautiful 630 splash. Serious jeopardy for Tucker. Amazing. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. A oh. oh, jumping stop to the gut. Heading back to the ring. Tornado oh. DDT. Viking DDT. Vicious. Kick right to the leg. That'll sting. And Tucker with the instinct to counter. Oh, just turn that around. Strong. Oh, my goodness. Forward. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Gets the win in a brutal Hell in a Cell match. Here is your winner, the Ninja. Take a look at the winner of this fatal four-way match, ladies and gentlemen. Truly against all odds. 
It's Hell in a Cell, so we know there are no disqualifications or countouts. You can only walk out of that demonic structure a winner via pinfall or submission. But Hell in a Cell is one of the most brutal and dangerous matches. It referee in position and bypasses the pinfall. Way too early. Multiple stops. He's turning the tables. Just breaking down the opponent. And finds a counter. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's got his hands on a bat. One home run swing could end this match. Tucker thrown hard to the outside. He climbs into the ring. And this match will head back to the ring. Landing the uppercut. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, what a counter. Boom, uppercut. That'll knock you silly. A moonsault. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Soaring, diving, foot stop to the chest. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. Corey, what advice would you give someone inside Hell in a Cell? Use the cell to your advantage. With the right strategy, you could turn this prison into your most effective weapon. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Oh, my God! Oh, oh man! Oh! Reigns turns that around. He's taking is starting to pile up. Oh, Tucker caught by the counter. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Unloading with an uppercut. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Punch lands. Ooh. Oh. Able to get the advantage here. Ooh. Uppercut. Man. Oh my goodness. his opponent too oh man i did not expect that michael nobody did with the reversal each superstar trying to stay a step ahead a counter answered by another counter oh stiff uppercut oh if you ask me this doesn't seem like the brightest of ideas yeah that's great Corey. you're right safety clearly isn't a concern for him right now how can it be in this type of match He's reached the top. Now what? A subtle to think. Do it. Slam. What impact. This whole arena is standing watching these maniacs battle it out 25 feet above the ground. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ooh. Ooh. Tagged with a punch. Hell of the mountain, gentlemen, and these poor souls are duking it out at the summit. Boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice takedown. Oh, what an uppercut. Boom. Ugh, definitely going to be woozy after that. How can they even compete up there? How are they not frozen with fear? When you hold this much contempt for your opponent, you'll do anything you have to to drag him to hell. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock suck. Can Tucker close things out? What a reversal by Reigns. Are these superstars even aware of the paradigm? I think they have blinders on, Saxton. I don't think they're completely aware of their surroundings. They just have tunnel vision for each other. Shark punch. Power drop kick. And with every step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking through a minefield. Oh, that'll rattle you. Totally dizzying. Why in the world are they doing this? They escaped the dangers of the cell. Just... Super Is there any steam left in Tucker? Ah, oh, a stop. Shifts it back onto him. Uppercut connects. Where are these? Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission? 
right here. Ooh, man. Yeah. The arm bar is locked in. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. He's given up, but you can tell his opposition doesn't care one bit. Oh, God. You could hear the chain link fence buckling with every impact. Are you nuts? Crushing impact off the cell. Someone get in there and check on him. There's no way this can continue. Defiant counter to Reigns. Well, this looks like one of those last gasp efforts, if you ask me. And that's what you gotta do to win this thing. Catches an uppercut. You can't take much more of this. I wanna walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Well, I'm not so sure he knows what he's doing, guys. Who are you to question him? And I assure you, this is all about making a statement. A crazy statement. Boom! All right, he's at the top now. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. All right, he's made it. Super kick! Oh! Ooh. That's how you stop your opponent. May have just vanquished Reigns. Oh, got the shoulder up just at the last minute. At two and a half, he kicked out. My gosh, this is making the hair on my neck stand up. Reigns able to sidestep. Close line. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. This can't go well. A game ending. Does he get it here? They got it. A career changing win inside Hell in a Cell.